you'll always find the chimney hot and the company warm. Blessing the beer. At Jeanette Cape's mm -hmm. house on Sock Avenue. It's been that way in Darrington for 64 years. Mm, I better turn it down. Today, cooking something at 480 degrees of life. Mm -hmm. okay. uh -huh. Most grandmothers fill their dinner table from the heart. But Jeanette is practically everyone's grandmother in this town. The sign outside the community center, best cooks in the world, that's partially for her. The best cooks in the world. <laughs> Yeah, they are. They're awesome ladies. They brought in a big truckload of turkeys. Because Jeanette and her yes, army Jeanette don't just cook life. all day, we'll they cook for the toughest days as well. Knowing those people are down there and not finding them has kind of took a toll on me. Today they're planning funeral dinners for the ones who've been found in the Oso landslide. Do you know when Linda's is yet? Do like former town librarian yeah. Linda McPherson, <laughs> childhood friend yeah, is, to Tony uh, Larson. I wasn't able to tell her at some point that her friend, what her friendship meant to me. But this town could have much more of that with 90 people still missing. The phone tree lights up and things start rolling in to those people in need. Yeah, that's good. You can bet Jeanette and her troops will be at every last one of them. Whatever they need. Whatever they need. There are few words for the need in this town on its darkest of days. But as that comes and goes, the light in this kitchen won't go out until that need is filled. There'll never be anybody, any place, any better than Darrington to support people. In Darrington, Lindsay Cohen, Como 4 News.